so where have they come from? Where are they going? In the 1990s, um, they discovered a need that they needed to work with larger and larger data sets. And it didn't make sense to keep these in people's desktops they had in their computers. So having one room in a building where you could store everything on one server rack, it was all in one place, started to make much more sense. You only had to power one large unit or UPS for one large uh, server, etc. And this is kind of where the modern idea of the data center came around. In the 2000s, particularly towards 2008, um, there was a massive increase in IT spending, which seems strange because this occurred around the financial uh, crash, but actually accelerated outsourcing as company want companies wanted to remove capital expenditure from their balance sheets so they could just outsource and then developers that were actually building them could focus on economies of scale, uh, creating bigger and bigger uh, data centers. 2010, um, this theme continued and the push towards scalability really kind of picked up the pace to where we are today. Uh, tech companies started building their own 80 megawatt plus data installations. So the likes of Google, Facebook, Microsoft realized that instead of outsourcing all this, they might as well just do it themselves and build huge uh, data centers, which we'll look at later. This also, people also started experimenting with different designs. So the example here, the white buildings are actually containerized units and they're modular. The idea being the construction is faster it's easy to get up and running and easier to maintain. And into the beginning of the 2020s, the focus has really been efficiency and reliability and build speed. As more and more industries head to virtual machines, off, uh, off-site cloud computing and things like that, the focus really is to look at different designs that can bring the data closer to the users in more efficient areas. Interesting to note, the traditional server rack as seen in like the late 1990s is still the same standard. It's just everything around it is being uh, innovated.